In this example, we're going to talk about a few different things here regarding setting and unsetting variables as well as dealing with empty and null. You can see the two here. Is set is used to check whether something is set or not. It's different than something being empty. Empty can be a string that has just the quotes there, double quote, that's an empty string, or something can have the value of zero, so it's empty. But is set, this is going to deal with whether or not a variable was set. You're going to unset that variable using unset, and that's going to take the value away from that particular variable. Like I said, empty is dealing with zero or the empty string. And the empty string is written just like quote, quote, just like that. Single quote, this is also considered empty, quote, zero quote, or just an integer that's a zero. That's considered empty. But if we look at the is set empty unset file here, you can see we have a few examples where we set the variables here. We set them here, and then we check to see if they're set. Remember, is set is going to return a true or false, and when you output that, echo that, that's only going to display the one for true and nothing for false. And we can take a peek here at the examples here, and I have that note up there. Are these set? See the source code we just did? Well, these are all set. And the value of is set boolean is nothing because boolean must be not set, so it returns a false, so nothing is displayed. Now we can check to see what's empty. Foo, is that empty? Well, if we move down here, foo is set to I am set. So it's set, it's still set, but now it's empty. And you get the empty coming back as one is true. So you get the idea. We'll just put anything in there. And now what we can do is come down here and we can unset things. The PHP doesn't care about the white space, but when you unset something, it's no longer set. We'll see this quite a lot, and that's very, very important to distinguish the two. It's like it was never set before, so that's great to be able to do that. And you can do that with session variables and cookies and things like that. So now when you do that, you can check to see if something is set after that. And now you can see that foo is no longer set. And int is no longer set, just like that. And we unset foo and int, and bool is now no longer set as well. And that's not coming back with anything, so that is false. I'll show you another way to do that much later in the training, to actually have a false come out there. And then we have the empty for foo and foo2. You can see that foo is going to actually come back as, yes, it's empty. It is no longer set. So it's empty. So you can see the difference there between the two. And then foo2 is not empty, so it's coming back as false. When dealing with null, a little bit down the line here, you can see even more code. We'll take a peek at that. We'll save this. And you can see that we can explicitly set something to the null value here, just like true or false, but it's capital N-U-L-L. -L. Nulls can be used a lot with databases, and they do have their own values there. It's different, so it can be handled differently with is null as opposed to is set. We can see foo3 and foo4 here, and then take a peek at this as we slide down. And that would be the first part here. And we can see that foo3 is not set, foo4 is set. Foo3 is at null, and Foo4 is actually set to something. So null is not going to be set, and then therefore you have to check whether or not it is null or not, if it's set to null. And then you can see the empty has its own functionality as well. So it can be set, but it could be empty. It's a little bit confusing, but at the same time, very valuable. So you can see that you can have different alternative ways of working with this, and you can see the difference between set and unset, that's the most popular, empty being something that could be set, but having the empty string or zero, and then null, it is going to come in as a value of null. And then you can see how that relates to is set regarding to nulls. So a little bit of a difference there in how things are going to work, but across the board, you deal more with is set and unset than you do with anything else really in PHP.